storyteller, giving emotion to words, and bringing them to life. I am even the composer of the music. Brought to life by NVIDIA, deep learning, and brilliant minds everywhere. GTC 2021 kicks off on April the 12th for five days of inspiring, insightful, and educational sessions with something for everyone. And this year's conference was all digital, meaning that you can access all contents online, both live and for 30 days after the conference if you've signed up to the event for free. As ever, the event opened with NVIDIA's CEO Jensen Huang's keynote speech, and here are the highlights. The keynote speech was presented in four stacks, the first being Omniverse, followed by DGX and high performance data centers, the third stack being one of NVIDIA's most important new platforms, NVIDIA EGX with Aerial 5G, and finally NVIDIA's work with the auto industry to revolutionize the future of transportation. He also revealed product announcements, partnerships and demos, and the keynote speech started with a recap on where it all started. Welcome to GTC. Computer graphics is the driving force of our technology. Hundreds of millions of gamers and creators each year seek out the best NVIDIA has to offer. At its core, computer graphics is about simulations. He then delved into the first stack, NVIDIA Omniverse, one of the latest RTX technologies, and how developers are using it for simulation, collaboration, and training autonomous machines. Creators are doing amazing things with Omniverse. At Foster & Partners, designers in 17 locations around the world are designing buildings together in their Omniverse shared virtual space. ILM is testing Omniverse to bring together internal and external tool pipelines from multiple studios. Omniverse lets them collaborate, render final shots in real time, and create massive virtual sets like holodecks. Ericsson is using Omniverse to do real-time 5G wave propagation simulation with many multi-path interferences. Twin Earth is creating a digital twin of Earth that will run on 20,000 NVIDIA GPUs. Jensen went on to talk about how NVIDIA is investing heavily in CPUs, DPUs, and GPUs, and weaving them into new data center scale computing solutions for researchers and enterprises, announcing NVIDIA's first data center CPU, Grace, named after Grace Hopper, a US Navy Rear Admiral and computer programming pioneer. When tightly coupled with NVIDIA GPUs, a Grace-based system will deliver 10 times faster performance than today's state-of-the-art NVIDIA D. GX base systems. Here it is. What I'm about to show you brings together the latest GPU accelerated computing, Mellanox high performance networking, and something brand new. The final piece of the puzzle. the world's first CPU designed for terabyte scale accelerated computing. Her secret code name, Grace. This powerful ARM-based CPU gives us the third foundational technology for computing and the ability to re-architect every aspect of the data center for AI. Next came the announcements of NVIDIA Bluefield 3 DPU. This next generation data processing unit will deliver the most powerful software-defined networking, storage, and cybersecurity acceleration capabilities. Where Bluefield 2 offloaded the equivalent of 30 CPU cores, it would take 300 CPU cores to secure, offload, and accelerate network traffic at 400 gigabits per second, as Bluefield 3 is a 10-time leap in performance. 22 billion transistors, the first 400 gigabit per second networking chip, 16 ARM CPUs to run the entire virtualization software stack, for instance, running VMware ESX. Bluefield 3 takes security to a whole new level, fully offloading accelerating IPsec and TLS cryptography, secret key management, and regular expression processing. We're on a pace to introduce a new Bluefield generation every 18 months. Bluefield 3 will do 400 gigabits per second 
and be 10x the processing capability of Bluefield 2. And Bluefield 4 will do 800 gigabits per second and add NVIDIA's AI computing technologies to get another 10x boost. 100x in three years. And all of it will be needed. After stating ARM is the most popular CPU in the world, Jensen went on to say it's super energy efficient and its open licensing model inspires a world of innovators. And he announced key ARM partnerships. Let's start with the big one, cloud. One of the earliest designers of ARM CPUs for data center is AWS. Its Graviton CPUs are extremely impressive. Today, we're announcing NVIDIA and AWS are partnering to bring Graviton 2 and NVIDIA GPUs together. This partnership brings ARM into the most demanding cloud workloads, AI and cloud gaming. With AWS Design Graviton 2, users can stream ARM-based applications and Android games straight from AWS. It's expected later this year. We're announcing a partnership with Ampere Computing to create a scientific and cloud computing SDK and reference system. We're also announcing a partnership with Marvell to create an edge and enterprise computing SDK and reference system. We're announcing a partnership with MediaTek to create a reference system and SDK for Chrome OS and Linux PCs. Combining NVIDIA GPUs and MediaTek SOCs will make excellent PCs and notebooks. Moving on to DGX, and upgrades were announced to NVIDIA's DGX Station and the NVIDIA DGX SuperPod. DGX Station can train large models, 320 gigabytes of super fast HBM2E connected to four A100 GPUs, over eight terabytes per second of memory bandwidth. Eight terabytes transferred in one second. It would take 40 CPU servers to achieve this memory bandwidth. DGX Station plugs into a normal wall outlet, like a big gaming rig, consumes just 1500 watts, and is liquid cooled to a silent 37 dB. Today, we're also announcing a new DGX SuperPod, three major upgrades. The new 80 gig A100, which brings the SuperPod to 90 terabytes of HBM2 memory, with aggregate bandwidth of 2.2 exabytes per second. It would take 11,000 CPU servers to achieve this bandwidth. NVIDIA's AI on 5G computing platform brings together 5G and AI into a new type of computing platform designed for the Edge that pairs the NVIDIA Aerial Software Development Kit with the NVIDIA Bluefield 2 A100, combining GPUs and CPUs into the most advanced PCIe card ever created. Aerial A100 integrates the Ampere GPU and the Bluefield DPU into one card. This is the most advanced PCI Express card ever created. So it's not a surprise that Arial A100 in an EGX system will be a complete 5G base station. Arial A100 delivers up to full 20 gigabits per second and can process up to nine 100 megahertz massive MIMO for 64T, 64R, or 64 transmit and 64 receive antenna arrays. State-of-the-art capabilities. NVIDIA EGX server with Arial A100 is the first 5G base station that is also a cloud-native, secure, AI edge data center. We have brought the power of the cloud to the 5G edge. To accelerate conversational AI, Jensen announced the availability of NVIDIA Jarvis, a state-of-the-art deep learning AI for speech recognition, language understanding translations, and expressive speech. We're announcing a partnership with Mozilla Common Voice one of the world's largest multi-language voice datasets, and it's openly available to all. NVIDIA will use our DGXs to process and train Jarvis with the dataset of 150,000 speakers in 65 languages and offer Jarvis back to the community for free. So go to Mozilla Common Voice and make some recordings. Let's make universal translation possible and help people around the world understand each other. Now let me show you Jarvis. The first part of Jarvis is speech recognition. Jarvis is over 90% accurate out of the box. That's world-class. And you can still use Tau to make it even better for your application, like customizing for healthcare jargon. Chest X-ray shows left retro cardiac opacity, and this may be due to atelectasis, aspiration, or early pneumonia. I have no idea what I said, but Jarvis recognized it perfectly. Jarvis translation now supports five languages, 
Let's do Japanese. Excuse me. I'm looking for the famous Jungra Ramen Shop. It should be nearby, but I don't see it on my map. Can you show me the way? I'm very hungry. That's great. Excellent accuracy, I think. Instantaneous response. You can do German, French, and Russian with more languages on the way. Jarvis also speaks with feelings. Let's try this. The more you buy, the more you save. The more you buy, the more you save. I think we're going to need more enthusiasm. The more you buy, the more you save. NVIDIA Jarvis, state-of-the-art deep learning conversational AI, interactive response, five languages, customized with Tau, and deploy from cloud to edge to autonomous systems. Recommender systems are the most important machine learning pipeline in the world today. It is the engine for search, ads, online shopping, music, books, movies, user-generated content, news, Recommender systems predict your needs and preferences from past interactions with you. We would like to productize a state-of-the-art recommender system so that all companies can benefit from the transformative capabilities of this AI. We built an open source recommender system framework called Merlin, which simplifies an end-to-end -end workflow from ETL to training to validation to inference. Merlin is now available on NGC. Moving on to autonomous vehicles, and we hear that NVIDIA is building modular end-to-end -end solutions for the $10 trillion transportation industry. The car industry has become a technology industry. Future cars are going to be completely programmable computers, and business models are going to be software-driven. Today, we're announcing NVIDIA Drive Atlan. Drive Atlan will be 1,000 tops on one chip. More than the total compute in most level 5 robo-taxis today. To achieve higher autonomy in more conditions, sensor resolutions will continue to increase. There will be more of them. AI models will get more sophisticated. There will be more redundancy and safety functionality. We're going to need all of the computing we can get. The world's big brands have giant opportunities. Step one was going electric. Now the big brands are making their new fleets autonomous and programmable. Orin will be powering many next generation EVs. And with Mercedes, we're building the end-to-end -end system. Jensen also announced that Drive Sim will be available for the community this summer. Let me show you what Drive AV and Drive Sim can do. This is a mountain of technology. Enjoy. Well, the keynote speech was jam-packed with revelations and exciting breakthroughs, most of which we've covered here. But to watch the full keynote speech, please click the link in the description. And for more tech and AI videos, including our GTC top picks for each day, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and press that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And of course, if you want to contact the team here at SCAN about your own AI and deep learning projects to see how we can help you, contact ai at scan.co.uk today.